the 42 and 21 Denver Nuggets who are currently second in the Western Conference. Folks here at Staples, likely witnesses to history tonight. LeBron James is 13 points away from passing Michael Jordan on the all-time scoring list. It, it is unreal. But on the other side, Mark, while all this is going on, James makes a nice pass in the Gale with the throwdown. I look for LeBron, as you say, either to drive or to take the long ball. He took the long ball. Uh, he gets three of those points back on the long jump shot. He's now 10 behind Michael. Needing six now to tie Michael Jordan. Nice pass here to Rondo from James. And then McGee with another dunk. He's got six points. Malik Beasley has had an outstanding season. Gets blocked by Wagner. But Denver gets back in transition. Rondo still gets to the rim and lays it in with some nice English off the window. Monte Morris, second year pro out of Iowa State. Plumley fouled. And they're going to count the basket. Wagner picks up his second foul. With his second unit, this is already a pretty formidable squad. LeBron got to get a bounce, and he does. And LeBron checks in with his eighth point of the night. Away from tying Jordan, five from passing him. Early in the second quarter, a turnover. James in transition, gives it up. Wagner, extra pass, Hart with the slam. Again, they go to Plumley here. They like that matchup, and Plumley's an excellent passer. Thomas baseline floater is there. Malik Beasley rising and canning a three. He's shooting 43% from out there. Facing up now on Craig. James falling away, hits it, and ties Jordan for number four. Here's Rondo. Gets it to James. LeBron takes it to the rim and finishes with the left, and he's fouled. The legend of LeBron continues. He moves past his idol, MJ, for fourth on the all-time scoring list. I like the defense that he's playing. He's basically daring him to shoot the ball. Instead, he drives, and he's able to get it. Nine straight for the Lakers. Timeout Denver. LeBron is up to 17 on the night. That's a big super consistent, although Murray's numbers are... Pretty glossy underneath. That's Millsap at his best, isn't it? Yeah, and guarded by a shorter player in Lance Stevens' pitch. He can bring the dribble up, and he does just that in the attacking 47. Will Barton hangs over McGee. Pretty stuff. The year Kobe Bryant had his Achilles blowout at the end of the regular season. Dwight Howard was a Laker as McGee is fouled on the throwdown. They brought in Steve Nash. That didn't work out because of injury. When you are, you know, great, and you've experienced nothing but incredible success as a lob pass from James to McGee. This and my middle boy, we played two on two against each other. I'm foolish enough to still think I got a gear. <laughs> and this just in, I don't. <laughs> and now the teams have gone back and forth with game. Oh, here's LeBron. He's in deep and he scores. LeBron James. I like him in college. Big man with skill, toughness. I think he's a bright spot moving forward for this team. Scores there and a foul. The 25th pick in the draft. Caruso to the basket and he gets the layup. Both parties have said about Kyler Murray is the complete opposite of what Charlie Casserly said on television the other day. Here's a lob to Plumley with the slam. Yeah, we're, we're willing to do that and uh, we, fe we felt like we found one that third quarter. Will you stick with this group here to start the fourth? Oh, we're going to get LeBron back in, but a lot of these guys are going to continue to play, yeah. He is the number four all-time scorer now, passing Michael Jordan in the first half. Williams, nice step through and layup. It's a six-point game. Stayed in the loss column for the best record in the West, and they've got the Warriors on ESPN in Oakland Friday. Game scores, and he's fouled the three-point three opportunity to make it a three-point game. And now with Millsap still behind, it's a five on four. Caruso fakes the pass, hits the lane. Two point game. 19 point lead just a couple games ago against the Pelicans who were playing without Anthony Davis. Jokic, wild shot, but Millsap is there with the stick back. Button out of bounds. Gary Harris drills a three. His first triple of the night, and timeout by Luke Walton. The Lakers playing without Brandon Ingram in the third quarter.
This group used a lot of energy to come back from 23 down as James slams it home. Do they have enough left in the tank? 43 in the first quarter. Jokic swings it out. Harris hits another one. But again, the mistakes. Denver record is held by Fat Lieber, who had 16 back in 1987. Touch pass by Caruso to Williams, and the rookie from Gonzaga finishes back to a four-point game. Harris looking to drive. Caruso does a good job defensively on him. But Harris able to power it up and in, plus a foul. He has that in his game where he can get better. Harris has the last 10 for the Nuggets, takes it to the rim, and scores again. A timeout by the Lakers. Harris slips, gets it though to Jokic, and he gets the bounce, his 10th point. Good hands by Rondo. Gets the steal, three on two for the Lakers. Hart and Barton, great play to block the shot. It was going to be a sure layup for Hart. Two at Golden State. They still have to go to Boston, Houston, Oklahoma City, Portland, Utah, Indiana. So here's James splitting two defenders and then splitting the rim. And Jokic with the intercept to get it back for Denver. Barton fires to Murray for the slam. James driving baseline. Incredible finish. 31 for James. The back of the backboard, just things you don't normally see. Well, the Phoenix play was careless as Barton gets the basket and the contact. That play was just careless. The other night, rolling it all the way down the floor and then shooting the three and missing it. Cut it to two, but then Denver closes the game on a 26 to 12 run and finishes off the Lakers 115.